Hello. All right. Uh, we're going to go into Gary's video. <clears throat> and we're going to play a comment we have. This is Gary's video. Core, you suck. Okay. Um, 345. Or some other kind of bizarre bullshit. Uh, just amazing how these people can laugh at suffering of others. Of course, it's always of others. I don't see him uh, with his, uh, you know, brain surgery scar anywhere. <laughs> well, Gary, you brought this up many times, this brain stuff, so I just wanted to tell you, you don't see the brain surgery scar because my hair has grown over it. So, you know, you just wouldn't naturally see it. Um, but to explain to you, I'll, I'll tell you and how I have laughed at my own brain surgery suffering. So when I was 27, I had a brain hemorrhage, was rushed, uh, I had a, and I had a seizure from it, and I was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance, of course, and the doctor told me I had an inoperable tumor or something uh, in near my brain cent uh, language center in my brain. So I'll tell you some of the things that were fucked up about it, if that isn't enough already. But um, my doctor didn't want to let me go to get a second opinion at UCSF, uh, or really one of his admins. I had to have a relative that was a lawyer call his admin. Um, it was hard to get work done, and I couldn't drive for about a year. Um, six months after and six months before. And uh, so, yeah, it, it pretty much sucked. Um, on the other hand, there were some interesting things I learned about it. Um, uh, for example, um, when I was coming to in my uh, brain surgery, um, uh, I, um, you know, I was, I couldn't really do anything. I woke up really early in the post-op room. Uh, they, they said it, that was remarkably early and it wasn't any fun though I just was lying there and I, for all night all I did was move my head and I would and there was this sound I would hear and I'd move my head it was a lovely sound I listened to it all night and I asked my doctor the next day I said what is that had this sound last night and he was like oh yeah we don't tell people that's because we you know when we're done there's a little bubble of air in there and before it absorbs you can hear it bubbling around. So that was interesting. Another thing is that it was near my language center. So that part of my brain was swollen for a, a few days and you know I had a little bit of speech impediment. And that was interesting because my thoughts were just as clear and I was talking to people that think of me as intelligent and yet when you talk that way they, they think you're stupid. And I'd always wondered, because I had met people in my life with speech impediments, and people treat them like they're retarded, and I'm, I'd be like, this guy's not retarded. What the hell? And so I was able to confirm that uh, from the inside. Uh, the other thing is my head was shaved, and I went to a game developers conference. Uh, and this is, so this is all, you know, 20, 15 years ago. And um, I was in the uh, computer game session for women, and the Barbie games had just gotten really popular, and I... And I was wearing, because I had a shaved head and a big old brain surgery scar, I was wearing this uh, cap. You know, I, was, I had like a scarf as a cap. Like a headband, but it was made out of a shirt, I think, and I pulled it over my head. And in this thing, I had uh, a chance to make a point. The guys like to accessorize, and everybody laughed. And it was because I looked like a kind of guy that liked to accessorize, because I had this getup, and yet it was really my brain surgery. And I just, oh, I think things like that are so when there's 50 extra meanings that you know, everybody's laughing because they know the meaning, but they don't. I think that's funny. So yeah, it also uh, softened me to the medical establishment a little bit at that point. I realized, oh yeah, this thing can save your life. So um, yeah, just so you know, it's it's because the hair grew over, all right? Now if you say that, it's not about you, pyramid. Well, you just make, you, you say it's not about us, but then you, you point at us as, See, I don't see you suffering. You're always laughing about other people. No, I'm laughing about my own suffering, about my own brain surgery. I learned a lot from it. It certainly didn't make me want to die. It kind of had the opposite effect. Maybe you don't know what you're talking about, Gary.
possible. Very light game.